Hey YouTube, my name is Eve the Weave, like, share, and subscribe, and honey, 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 when you apply motherfucking pressure, baby, I said on Instagram today, right, I took a picture of Meg Foot and I put it on my motherfucking gram, yes I did. And I said, the streets told me to tell Meg, if she got shot, if she think that's a gunshot wound, don't come to the Bronx where we throw bombs and blow up your motherfucking house. Well, baby, baby, Meg had said, <laughs> really, bitch? Oh, let me blow up the motherfucking internet then, bitch. And that's what y'all do over there in the Bronx. Let me blow up the motherfucking internet then, bitch. Let me just say this. I'm not about to victim shame nobody. And I can see where certain parts of Megan's story is real. Because I've been, like I told y'all, I've been through some shit. With a short nigga that involved me running around and happen to like do some shit. But Megan, Megan, let me get my shit. Y'all know this is my shit. Smoking and shit. Y'all know this is my shit. Megan, come out and play. Well, that bitch came outside. Now it's time for Tori. Come out and play. You know why? Meg fucked up. Let me tell you why Meg fucked up. And before I run down all her lives, I'm going to tell you why Meg fucked up. Because we're going to go and look at her lives. And I'm going to break all them shits down. We're going to go straight to the shade room with that shit. I told y'all. Okay, if he did shoot her in the foot. Let's just say Tory Lane shot Megan in the foot. Let me get my motherfucking blood. Because we about to get into some motherfucking shit. If you don't motherfucking know by now, you in the motherfucking dark room. Where a bitch like me gets to motherfucking thinking. This is my motherfucking time but a motherfucking night right here. Okay? Alright? New York City is motherfucking quiet right now. And the internet is motherfucking buzzing. We got the Democratic motherfucking um, convention going on and shit on CNN. That's the type of vibe I'm in right now with my motherfucking blunt right now. Because I'm about to lay down some shit. Megan fitting to go to jail. That's what I'm going to say that right off the grip. I'm not victim shaming her. I'm not doing none of that. And, and uh, another motherfucking thing. Another motherfucking thing now. Now another thing. Y'all was sitting up there criticizing Kelsey. Y'all was all in Kelsey comments when, when Kelsey said I didn't shoot her. Y'all was still coming for fucking Kelsey and kept coming for her and kept coming for her and kept coming for her until her family had to come out and speak about that shit, right? First of fucking all, let's just go straight to the top with the blame game. We're going straight to the motherfucking top. Y'all in L.A., the, 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 the mayor for L.A. is telling y'all not to have these motherfucking parties, right? Due to fucking COVID. Yes, I'm going to repeat my motherfucking self because it's facts. He told them not to be partying out there. He shut that fucking young man's, um, he shut that young man's, um, electricity down. The, um, the, um, Bruce Hall, the TikTok star. Because he had a party just last week. He shut his motherfucking electricity down like he said he was going to motherfucking do. Now, I told y'all that fucking LAPD 
knocked on that motherfucking door and told them to turn down that motherfucking music. First of all, if everybody was fucking sitting where they were supposed to be motherfucking sitting at, in the motherfucking house during motherfucking COVID and not running around jumping from fucking party to party, none of this shit would have never motherfucking happened. Let's just be motherfucking clear. Okay? None of this shit wouldn't be fucking happening. And let me just say this. I'm taking this shit a little bit personal because I told y'all I had a foot injury. Let me tell y'all something. I'm a person that like to work my motherfucking ass to the motherfucking bone. I don't take no motherfucking days off because my motherfucking bills did not say, oh, Christmas, you will not be receiving a bill. Thanksgiving, you will not be receiving a bill due to the holidays. My motherfucking bills don't take off. I don't motherfucking take off. It's pedal to the motherfucking metal. But when I got that fucking foot injury... I fucking cried my motherfucking ass off because I had to sit down at some motherfucking point and slow the fuck down. You know how many times I got many calls to go outside and run these motherfucking streets and do here and do what the fuck I do and I had to humble my motherfucking self on some days I couldn't even go outside because my fucking foot was hurting so bad and I can't even go out in the motherfucking rain and to see her motherfucking foot and that little tiny hole that she had in her shit compared to my motherfucking hole that was in my motherfucking foot. And then you get up on your motherfucking live, something that you didn't have to fucking do after the fucking incident and say, well, such and such happened to me and X, Y, and Z. Bitch, Megan, nobody fucking asked you from the motherfucking jump about the motherfucking situation. We still don't know who bit motherfucking Beyonce, bitch. You know why? Because Beyonce ain't fucking say nothing. She just said on a song that y'all gonna have to sign NDAs and shit when you come to party with her because y'all motherfuckers talk too motherfucking much. And not to jump off the motherfucking shit, though. Not to jump off fucking May and on to some real king talk. This is exactly what the fuck my song was talking about in the Acorn motherfucking shit. And I'm going to jump on that Acorn shit. But this shit right here, this Megan shit, is hot like motherfucking grease and fucking fish grease. And if you know, fish grease got to be motherfucking hot in order to put that bitch in the motherfucking frying pan. This is exactly what my song was talking about. Everybody is not built the same motherfucking way. Everybody's not built the same motherfucking way. Everybody don't have the same morals or the same motherfucking loyalty when it comes to this fucking real life shit, this rap shit, any type of fucking lane that you fucking be in. You, it, it, you never, it's always gonna be somebody that's gonna say something. That's why I was always taught, if you go motherfucking do something, you do that shit motherfucking alone and you have people around you that stay solid, ten toes motherfucking down. We all move in the party at the same motherfucking time. If I move, you move just like that. Nobody ain't going to no motherfucking bathroom by themselves. Ain't nobody going to no nigga house by they fucking self. Ain't nobody going up to nobody motherfucking hotel rooms by they motherfucking self. Nobody's moving without one another. You motherfucking right. Because that's how that shit's supposed to motherfucking move. But let me motherfucking tell you something. I got respect for motherfucking Kelsey. She asked that girl when they got out that fucking car, was she alright? And we don't have the whole story yet. Because we didn't get Tory Lane's side yet. His people has not come out. Now, according to Meg, the lie that she did tonight is because his people been coming out against her. Or whatever. He's sending people to bloggers. This is what she's stating. But if you would have never came out, Meg, and said anything from the motherfucking rip, we wouldn't all be sitting here talking about your motherfucking foot, bitch. Let's just be clear. Y'all bitches ain't motherfucking loyal to shit. Because let me tell you something. How the fuck did you? How the fuck did you say you were saving him 
And you gonna jump on the motherfucking live and tell the whole motherfucking world that he motherfucking shot you. How the fuck is that saving him, bitch? Let's just be clear. Yeah. How is that saving him? Let me tell you something. If any one of my friends ever did that and we have a pact to not say nothing and then all of a fucking sudden because the fucking pressure cracks your fake ass, friend, then we gonna have a motherfucking problem if the pressure cracked to you, B. If the pressure, let me tell you something. Y'all motherfuckers ain't got no code. That's what the motherfuckers, that's what the streets are saying. Y'all ain't got no fucking street code. Y'all don't fucking, y'all, y'all, y'all always motherfucking snitching. Y'all always need the motherfucking light. And Megan, if you wasn't fucking thirsty for motherfucking lights and motherfucking friends, bitch, you wouldn't have been in the motherfucking predicament in the motherfucking first place. You all over the fucking place. And then people are sitting up here on these lives saying, oh, we tearing Meg down, we tearing Meg down, this, this, and that, and the third. No the fuck we not. We want to know why the bitch came out and said something. A real bitch like me want to know why the fuck she even did the first live to fucking begin with. How about that? Nah, fuck that. Let's go all the way back. The first fucking post, bitch, that you posted. You should have never posted nothing. We didn't need that. That's the fucking problem. You let the pressure get to you and now you fucking mad. You sitting up here in a black hoodie looking like you fitting to go to jail, bitch. Get a jumpsuit. Rack up the, ch the, the charges is about to get racked up, bitch. You just gave LAPD their whole motherfucking case, bitch. And meanwhile, I just go on Tory motherfucking Instagram. He ain't got shit to fucking say. But let me motherfucking tell you something. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all got something to say about his motherfucking page. I go to the Tory last post where he posted about his new motherfucking song. Excuse me. About his new song. And these are the posts from the last seconds. Hide your feet. Your career's over. I hope you know you having a closed casket funeral, babes. Good love. You good love? What what gun you use? Horses all in his shit. All types of stallions in his shit. Sorry, what's your address? I forgot. <laughs> what's our address? I forgot. That's what it says. You shot Megan. You still follow her on IG. You were probably close to shooting yourself. <sighs> These fucking shits are bananas. And that's just in the first last couple of minutes. Homeboy, you should have aimed better. Remove him from the plate from the platform. Spotify, title, Apple Music. She fitting the fuck up that whole boy back and he ain't even came out and said shit. Do y'all understand? Y'all are hearing from Megan's side. The same person that said she got shot in her feet. And not her foot. You know feet is two and foot is one. Right, Meg? And then you got the nerve to post yesterday your motherfucking one foot. And not feet. And then you jump in your live today. And you still say you got shot in your feet. You still lying. You still fucking lying. Why? Why are you still lying, Meg? You crack under pressure, bitch. Real bitches don't crack under pressure. You were supposed to hold that, bitch. You were supposed to hold that. What the fuck was y'all arguing about in that motherfucking car because motherfucking Kelsey was in the back with Tory Lanez and you was in the front, according to your story, with the driver. And where the fuck is the driver? Yeah, I got motherfucking questions because the cops is going to get in your ass, bitch. So you might as well get used to it now. Because you don't opened up a can of motherfucking worms. And you listen. Listen. You've been acting a plum motherfucking fool since you don't switched up the Rock Nation, bitch. I'm, uh, yeah. I, I'm, not, I'm just saying what the streets are saying, bitch. Get used to it.
Get used to it. Because it don't make no sense. And it's sad. It's real sad. It's real sad. And it's fucked up. And it don't make no sense. It really, really don't. It, 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 it saddens me. Because I was really liking Meg. Like, I really was feeling her. But now I have to fucking pose this fucking question. And this is the shit. This is the shit. Now that Megan came out on motherfucking live and said to the world, the motherfucking world, big brother, <laughs> that's me. Now that she don't came out and said who motherfucking shot her and put a motherfucking address on it, literally, is Megan a motherfucking rat and she the new 6 9 Is she, the, I, the, listen, I'm, listen. I'm just asking questions the streets want to know. I'm in the streets. I'm big brother. I'm everywhere. I need to know. Because you know what? If you was going to be a ride or die like that, you should have closed your motherfucking mouth just like everybody else that was in the motherfucking car, man. You're the only motherfucking one talking. And then you mad because people are coming at you to show your motherfucking foot because you out here hobbling around with a fucking ace being to show another motherfucking boot can't crutch, walk a wheelchair, nothing, bitch. And you out here wop, wop, whopping it up. And you mad at us. You put your business out there to the world. See, this is the problem with y'all motherfucking celebrities. And this, this, this shit I don't like. This, that shit I don't like. When y'all fitting to drop something, all eyes on motherfucking me like y'all Tupac and shit. Rest in peace, king. But now all of a fucking sudden, it's time to tell the motherfucking truth and you come out here telling half-ass motherfucking stories and you blaming us because you out here gallivanting around the world trotting and shit like a stallion. And you mad at us? Bitch, please. Get your wheelchair and take a seat. Matter of fact, Meg, you can take a cell, maybe. Huh? Huh? Because if you think, if you think Tory Lanez is going to go down and take all these charges, you are sadly fucking mistaken. And you know what the bad part about it is that I just thought about, y'all? She put everybody in the fucking car in jeopardy and put them in the play to fucking tell a story now. Because now that, the, now that she went and did the fucking live, Kelsey gonna have to tell her side of the story now to the fucking police. What if Kelsey wasn't trying to talk to the police? If all of y'all made a pact to not talk to the police, like you said, man, then why the fuck you come out and do your fucking live? And that's the shit I'm talking about. You fucked us all over in the car, man, by you coming out saying something. Once one person says something, they're going to come down on every fucking body. We all know that. Street shit, remember? Real shit, bitch. And you mad at us? No, bitch, we mad at you. You saying we playing on your head top, bitch. You been playing on our head top. You been stunting. You been fucking lying. You been all around town, friend. In the handicapped section of the motherfucking club. Fuck is you talking about? Girl, you can't be motherfucking serious. All I'ma say is run up the motherfucking charges. Run them up. Because everybody was out here and they got still out here dogging Tory and he ain't said shit. And this is what I hate about social media. All this cancel Tory shit. Can he say something first? He ain't did a live, ain't did a post, ain't say shit. Megan ain't dropped no receipts and showed us where his people is hitting up bloggers. She just said it in the motherfucking live and y'all motherfuckers literally ran and hopped with that bitch. And y'all ran with that. I want to hear the whole story before I run with it. Y'all couldn't be jurors. I would have to dismiss half y'all bitches. Because y'all sitting up there hopping on Megan fucking side. Oh, because Tori got a motherfucking attitude. Oh, y'all ain't fuck Asian dog. Oh, Tori got a fucking attitude. Y'all don't know Tori like that. This, this, that, and the third. He did shoot her. Then why the fuck is Tori such a bad motherfucking person? Right? 
Could you please tell me why everybody was jamming the quarantine radio like that was the littest shit that ever hit the motherfucking streets? Because it was. It was. And that no Tory sitting back wishing right now he was doing quarantine radio instead of hanging with Meg fucking ass. How about if he's over there regretting some shit? Y'all sitting over here sucking up Meg and no, I feel for Meg because I said I had a fucking foot wound injury. But don't come out here and exaggerate the motherfucking story and then you're going to show us a motherfucking scrape on your motherfucking foot, bitch, and say you've been shot. You really want to see a bullet wound, bitch? Google it. Google it. That shit is fucking ridiculous. So let's think about these charges that Megan's about to get. Yeah. Because you know she she already perjured herself in the court of motherfucking law already. And the bitch ain't even hit the motherfucking courtroom yet. The bitch perjured herself in the worst way on fucking social media. The same shit we yell about these young kids doing, Meg just did it. Now. Now what? And she grown, and I don't want to hear nothing about her motherfucking parents dying and this and this and that. I feel for Meg, but that's, and, and again, 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 this COVID was not a blessing to everybody, but some of y'all fucking celebrities be needed to sit y'all asses down from jump any motherfucking way. We been was done with half y'all motherfuckers from jump anyway. So when COVID hit, instead of y'all motherfuckers sitting y'all asses down and relaxing and getting to the motherfucking bars, y'all was out here being motherfucking messy and looking for the spotlight because there was none because COVID took it over like a motherfucking eclipse in 2020. So no, I don't want to hear... Nothing about her celebrating. I don't want to hear none of that. What came out after she got shot? Megan was everywhere. And even if she was taping WAP during that time, because allegedly the streets are saying that's what it was. Even if she was, Megan, even after you got shot, you still could have sat your fucking ass down and not said nothing. So that's twice that you passed up the motherfucking offering to sit your ass down. Once COVID hit, I'm not saying sit down and don't work. But all that party, 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 party shit, when niggas is out here dying, niggas is out here dying, the numbers is running them the fuck up. And y'all out here, these fucking, a lot of y'all out here with these motherfucking celebrities and they out here coughing and shit, catching the motherfucking COVID and you out here getting shot and yo, oh, wait, my bad, because I'm not going to call it a gunshot wound like you did, Meg. No, the fuck I'm not. I'm going to call it what the fuck it looked like. It looked like a little scrape. Let's just speak facts. And a lot of y'all might not like this video, but let me tell you something. If you know me, you know I'm a straight motherfucking shooter. Boom, boom. I speak facts. I know what loyalty is. I know how to shut the fuck up. I know how to flip a story when need be. When need be. Megan did not need to go on social media. That's the light. That's that attention. That's that pressure. Y'all are addicted to fucking attention. And we are tired of y'all every time y'all got to promote some shit. Here y'all fucking come with y'all accidents and y'all want to be fighting this one, shooting this one, doing this one, this one. All in to promote some shit to make us get attention. And, and let me just tell you this. If your talent alone can't get our motherfucking attention to make us buy your motherfucking shit, then bitch, you need to try harder. Get back in the motherfucking lab again. Fuck is you talking about, B? I'm tired of it. I've been saying I'm tired of these celebrities seeking attention any old type of motherfucking way they fucking know how in order to promote some shit. And then get mad at us because we fucking looking. Bitch, you put us out. What? 
Man. Y'all motherfuckers got me fucked up. Crazy shit is I saying I'm smoking a clip. I got the clip in my hand. Ain't like shit yet. So could you imagine when I light that shit and feel a little buzz? What that shit gonna do? I speak facts regardless. Regardless. And let me just tell you something. Meg is full of shit. That's the type of friend I don't want the motherfucking want to roll with me to the motherfucking club. Because she's going to tell the whole motherfucking world what happened in the bitch. I don't need nobody around me trying to go live when shit popping off instead of calling 911. If that's what the fuck you fitting to do. Anyways, you might as well call them motherfuckers on the spot. You, you just did on social media. You may have not dialed 911, bitch. But you, um... Logged on Instagram and you testified. <laughs> so, uh, uh, I, I, I mean, why well, have us waiting all this motherfucking time? If you was going to get on Instagram live and spill your motherfucking guts because you felt the motherfucking pressure, bitch. I don't want to rob a bank with your motherfucking ass, okay? You hear me? I want to roll with the motherfuckers that stay motherfucking quiet. And even if Tory Lane shot me. Allegedly, if he shot you, y'all was supposed to handle that shit among y'all motherfucking selves and not jump on social fucking media. If you felt like that, you were so motherfucking down and you was protecting him. Y'all could have handled that if y'all was so motherfucking close. But evidently, you told us something we didn't know. Well, she said y'all not that motherfucking close, like I said, because if y'all was, you wouldn't be out here spilling your motherfucking guts on your friends. What about your friends? Is they gonna be around? Is they gonna let you down? Hey, bitch, you the friend that let's let us down. I'm sorry. She is that friend that just let us down, right? Right? She walk around calling everybody friend, friend, friend. That's her keyword. That's her phrase. And I quote. Right? But yet you mad at us? Megan, if you don't go rest that motherfucking foot and get the fuck out of here with that bullshit, I'm happy you took off your motherfucking makeup for the motherfucking live, though. And you out on your black hoodie looking like you fitting to go tell some shit. Like you fitting to go to jail. Or maybe a precinct. Or to take a mug shot. Hmm? Hmm? Is your mug shot coming up next? Hmm? We seen Tories. Is yours next on the fucking menu? Hmm. I think it is going to be true. Your ass is about to get all types of charges because you are hindering the DA's office from solving a fucking investigation. Because you don't want to fucking. Uh, 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 you don't want to sit up there. And. Tell the story to the cops. So basically that's hindering their case. That's obstruction of justice. Right? You fitting to go to jail jail. Because you don't even know how to tell a story. With your foots. And then you already remind us that in your past relationship, you have lied to authorities before to protect a nigga. And remember, in that lie, you said you wasn't protecting no more niggas. And, but, and yet, you turned right around and did the same motherfucking thing. So, Megan, have you learned your lesson from your boyfriend and you or with the altercation that you had with him? No, you didn't. You turned around and you got into another altercation with another man where fucking police was called and you lied yet again. Jail. Clink, clink, bitch. You lied up. Right. Get on the fucking remix with 6 9 Akon, yeah, because you doing shit that you ain't supposed to be out here motherfucking doing. Akon, I ain't forget about your fucking ass. Get on your motherfucking head topping about a motherfucking another video. Because you deserve a whole motherfucking video with your motherfucking... You right, Akon. You don't go by the code. You right. 
and neither does me. Shit is crazy. Oh my God. JoJo is the latest artist to take Tory Lanez off of her album amongst his pending criminal investigation connected to the shooting of Megan Thee Stallion. Kalani also recently explained why she took Tory off of her album. Honey, the streets is motherfucking talking, okay? Can we take Megan off your album to support this beautiful Smart, talented black woman, Megan Thee Stallion. I love you. I heard he is not going to be on the deluxe version of the album. Honey. JoJo stepped, JoJo stepped into the shade room to give us a snippet of her new song, Come Back, featuring Tory Lanez. Let's hear it. And you know what? I don't even want to play the rest of that. Because I already know the song sounded hot. And it, this is where it's fucked up at. We have not heard Tory Lanez's motherfucking story. Right? We have not heard it. These artists is going and taking... They, they, they're taking him off of songs. Tory... Is losing the bag. Now who's going around interrupting bags and shit? Remember? Now, now, who's going around interrupting bags now? Because she came out and said something started the downfall of his bags. His money is, is his stock is plummeting. And it don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. And it's sad. Let's hear what Kilani had to say large platform as someone that people look up to as some as a woman that makes other women feel safe and empowered people were asking me you know like are you going to keep somebody on it who doesn't necessarily make us feel safe or empowered as a woman and not only was that but like this is you know the situation was involving someone that i'm extremely close to so i just felt like on some loyal shit and on some like do the right thing like you have to be responsible like Absolutely, I'm changing up the record, and it was, it was, I was conversed in private. It was spoken about. It was all thorough. It was, it was business, and it was also loyalty into a situation. So. That's right. That's real. I mean, especially if you got, if you, you cool with somebody like for real, for real. You know what I mean? And outside. This is about to get crazy. Now, I have something to say that I just thought about just now when. It triggered something in me when I had to hear Kilani talk. How about, okay, let's just run with the narrative for a minute that Tori is a toxic person, right? Let's just run with that real quick. Let's just, you know, let's just run with that. Now, Megan has a history, okay? And I'm going to bring this up. Because they're going to bring this up on the stand. I'm just going to let y'all know. All of this is about to come out to play. Her whole past. Everybody she ever hanged with. Is about to come into play. She fucked everybody. Okay. Even down to that boyfriend. She told that story about when she first got the first mug shot. Okay. Let me just say this. Meg says she lied to the authorities. Her boyfriend pushed her. They had an argument. Okay. May was always with Trey Songz. Trey Songz allegedly has a problem putting his hands and doing stuff to women. Right? Now we're talking about Tory. And Meg is around him. And now all of this drops. I'm going to ask y'all this question because if, and I'm talking about to the females, what is it in Megan that attracts toxic men? She's attracted to toxic men. Why? Why? 
Remember, Megan Daddy, God bless her soul, was locked up when she was young. Do y'all, is it fair to say that Megan may have daddy issues? And I'm not trying to say nothing about her father, but the lines is blurred. I'm just saying, if I'm a female and I keep in, in you know, attracting fucked up niggas, then I have to look within me to find out why am I attracting fucked up niggas? And why am I around fucked up niggas knowing that they fucked up niggas? You understand what I'm saying? Because she was around Trey Songs, they was partying and all that. Everybody thought they was fucking and all that. Then she was around that other producer dude. Laying all up on him in the club and drunk and shit. He was short. Hmm. Hello. I'm just saying. Do Megan have daddy issues? Do Megan draw toxic men in her space? Because remember, she was in the club with Future. Ain't he having another baby? What's this, like, number 15? This is the same person that said she wanted to protect her energy. But if you let letting toxic people in your space, how are you protecting your energy? Let's start playing Makers Live real quick. Let's get right to it. If I can break this shit down like a shotgun. Hit this. I never hit you. No, it was like, oh, she mad because he's Kylie. No, I wasn't. Like, no, I wasn't. Megan, the reason why people are saying you hit Tori because they say you like to get spicy. You even admit that you like to get spicy when it comes to dudes, when it comes to confrontations with dudes. So that's why people are saying that you might have hit Tori. And the reason why they are saying that you might be mad that he was all over Kylie because the way that you looked at in your motherfucking life, in the pool, bitch. Oh, let me go run and tell my business to the mother. And then let me go run and tell my business to the police. Like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never been that type of person. Like, but I'm not going to let y'all keep playing in my face. And I'm not going to let this plan in my face either. So, since y'all hold so worried about it, yes, this Corey shot me. You shot me. And you got your publicists and your people going to these blogs lying stop lying i'm from the megan how is it that you're gonna say that you're not the type of person that runs to the internet and tell your business when you is the one that told us about your goddamn ex-boyfriend and this is how you know that we, this is how we all know that you lied to the police in that incident, Megan. Ain't that running to the motherfucking internet, Megan? Because you couldn't take the pressure of your fucking mug shot being revealed to the world. So you had to come forth and say something. And then you say, I have never been that type of person. Meg, you have been that type of person, my dear. You sitting up there talking about, we ain't, y'all not going to be playing with me. Who, Meg? You've been playing this whole fucking time. And then you say, you lying, Meg. You, you're lying. You may not be lying about who shocks you, but you lying about a couple of things like feet and foot, bitch. Mother was like, oh, she mad because he's Kylie. No, I wasn't. Like, no, I wasn't. Megan, the reason why 
damn near back at the house I was staying at. I was just trying to get home. We was five minutes away from my spot. The police come. I'm scared. All this going on with the police. The police is, is shooting them up for anything. The police was literally killing black people for no mother reason. As soon as the police tell us all get out the mother car, the police is really aggressive. You think I'm about to tell the police that we, us black people, got a gun in the car? You want me to tell them? Megan, again, if you didn't tell them then, why are you telling them now? You just told everybody. What are you saying? Is mega walking contradiction? And I'm bleeding. I'm lying, bitch. Did I pay a helicopter to come over me and, and uh, record my feet leaking blood? Damn near back at the house I was staying at. I was just trying to get home. We was five minutes. No, how the fake that? I didn't tell the police nothing because I didn't want us to get in no more trouble than what we was already about to get in. I get to the mother hospital, the police so rude to me. Well, what, you know, what's going on? Like, da 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 da. You're being detained, da da da. I'm, ma'am, I'm being detained, I'm leaking. But I'm still not saying what happened. Crazy. The, the, the police finally let me go. I ain't go to jail. Them three to jail. I'll get to the I'll get to the hospital. The 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 doctors do X-rays on my feet. Oh ma'am, you got uh bullets in your feet, got bullet fragments in. Where is Kelsey's mugshot? And we don't know who the driver is. We only seen Tory Lanez's mugshot. So again, Meg, uh, why? Are you still talking? Uh, she's really getting on my fucking nerves. And if she was my friend, I will punch the bitch in the face. I'm uh, yes, I will punch her in her face because you just got me brought up on charges, bitch. If you do, if I wasn't corroborating with the fucking police, now I got to because now I got to bail my ass out because you sitting up there trying to bail your ass out because you sitting up here talking. Bitch, this is this shit here, y'all. Y'all understand? A black woman uh, a grown black woman really got any reason to be lying on another grown black man when all this fucked up going on in the world right now. If you really want to tell the truth, I've tried to save him. Even though he shot me, I tried to spare him. And y'all is not sparing me. That's crazy. That's I go through so much on a daily basis anyway. Then I have to get on the internet where I'm just trying to make my music, do my shit like like always been and I, i'm trying to say this, and y'all on the internet talking about oh and get shot this old free tour not in jail he not in jail because i didn't tell the laws what happened as soon as it happened and i should have well megan again you just didn't tell them then but you're telling them now what the fuck is the difference? What, 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 what is the difference? I, I, I just want to know. Because actually, all those days that went by, you just made it worse. Because now, you, like I said, you prolonged it. And they could have been solved it if you would have been fucking told it. Like you're doing right now. Because if that was the case, if you been was going to fucking tell it, you should have told it then, bitch. Like, y'all not understanding. She should have been, if she was going to tell, she should have been told. You trying to say that he's been doing X, Y, and Z. Let me go see if I can find some evidence of this shit. Because Megan talking a lot. And it's crazy. I did. And I'm done. Y'all asking where, where people at? Why ain't nobody saying nothing? Ask them why they not saying nothing. Yeah, I'm going to have to go see if I can see something because 
I don't know. I don't know what Megan is talking about. And it's about to hit the fan crazy. Because I'm just tired. I'm just tired of this whole shit. Because this is not no loyalty right here to me. This is this is not loyalty. This is not loyalty at all. So I don't get the the everybody cold is fucked up. Period. All we can do is wait and see now. Now everything is a waiting game. But it seems like every time we wait and the wrong person keeps speaking out. And I'ma really need Megan to shut the fuck up at this point. You got everybody in trouble, B. Point blank to the motherfucking period. Everybody that was in that car with you now, if they did go in for questioning and didn't answer that shit right, like you saying that they didn't do because everybody's quiet, then that means everybody is coming back in for questioning, including you now. You bragging about, oh, how you didn't get arrested then, but you're going to get arrested now, bitch. And then you have the nerve to fucking sit up there and use the Black Lives Matter movement. Oh, all the things that's going on in the world with the cops and black people. Megan, this didn't have to fucking happen, like I said, because if everybody was quarantining the way that everybody was asked to, then y'all wouldn't be in this motherfucking mess from the fucking beginning. This all boils back down to y'all not motherfucking listening. All of it. Y'all just don't fucking listen. And then when and then when other people are listening to the shit that y'all spilling out, you like I said, y'all mad. So like I said, you two, what's up? Hey, fuck with your girl. Fucks with me. Is Megan a snitch? And if Megan was going to come out and say something, should she have came out and did it being that she was going to always do it? Yes or no? Should have Megan shut the fuck up from the fucking beginning. I say yes. Because now we sitting up here talking about all this shit. You got Asian dog going to bat. Oh yeah, that nigga this. That. We like I said, we was just motherfucking quarantined and everything was all motherfucking right when he was quarantined radio. And then we was all whoop the whoop, Tory lanes. Everybody was fucking with him. Nobody ain't come out and say nothing. And then 